your observations and thoughts about passing skills, that aspect of her game? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a great part of her game, to be quite honest. I've coached some really good players, like Diana Trice. I think she's, uh, you know, one of the best at the finding the open man and, and Sue Bird. But I think, you know, Vandersloot, but Sabrina's right up there. I think the way some of the passes she's made this year, it's more like, wow, that's, that's pretty impressive. She just has great... Court vision. She sees things happen before they happen and she has that ability to make really good passes. I love that she's getting the recognition and obviously with an all-star starter, um, you know, coming up and because uh, she's been critical for us as is, as is all our players, but she starts with that with the point guard and, and she's making some easy baskets for our other players just with her, her playmaking. Everyone sees her as a scorer. She's way more than that. Liberty basketball. You can see Sabrina surveying. She set up that pass with her eyes. Onion Wede from the corner connects. When did you first develop your desire to be a passer? How did you develop that desire? And how did you develop your passing skills through the years? Um, I've never really thought much about it. I think it's just always kind of been a part of how I've played. Um, I mean, growing up, I was always just smaller and um, kind of lengthy. And so just trying to figure out ways to impact the game. And one that's always in your control is passing. So kind of just fell in love with you know, that aspect of the game at a really young age and just continue to try and improve it as I've, I've uh, been playing along my career. I just kind of take what the defense gives me, um, whether it's the pass or the shot or what kind of pass it is. It's just kind of in the flow of the way that I play the game. I mean, I've known her since, you know, we played at, we played at Oregon and UCLA together, you know, against each other. And so I've seen it firsthand for a few years now. Her passing ability is amazing. To be able to get people in the right positions, to be able to see things before they even happen or before they even develop is so amazing. And it's just a testament to how hard she works and just her basketball IQ as well. And that's something that we've needed, you know, since I've been at the New York Liberty. And she's definitely improved in that. And so we're going to continue to build on that. Um, but I love playing with her. I love running because I know I'm going to get the ball from her at any angle. Um, yeah, so it's really, really helpful for our team. Sabrina Yonas. One of four from the floor. Kick it outside. On your word, A. Her vision to see maybe narrow openings with difficult angles. Any thoughts on that? Yeah, I definitely think she is. Uh, she's a bit of a risk taker with them, but in a in a way that I think is smart. Still, like she knows where she can take the risks. I think. Um, and she does find those angles really well and she knows how I think to use them to her advantage. So whether it's, you know, a quick bounce pass or if it's a little bit of a pass with a spin on it, um, she can get it nice and high for other people and the timing of her passing I think is really good as well. Her court vision is just something that, you know, every single time you should be expecting the ball from her and um, she makes it so that you are in a position to get the ball and score or make a good play for her teammates. And so that's always good to have a teammate that's looking for you, um, looking to share the ball and that's something that we have in her for sure. There are times where There'll be a narrow opening with a difficult angle, and you have the vision to kind of thread that path. Um, do you think that's a natural ability? Is that something you've worked on? No, I don't think I've ever really worked on it. I think it's just what I see. Um, and sometimes it you know, doesn't work to my fears. Sometimes I, I see it and um, I don't put the ball where I want it to go, or uh, my teammates you know, don't see what I see. And so sometimes I turn the ball over, but I think that's kind of all part of just continuing to learn how to, you know, manage and find those lanes to be able to get that ball in. About the, uh, just the ability to get to the ball to the right place at the person's body, the right place on the court, the timing. How about that aspect of it? I think she's done it for such a long time. She did it in Oregon as well. I know she could score a lot, but she's developed that passing ability there. And, um, you know, Sabrina wants to win. So she wants to make the plays that can help us win. She's got that really competitive fire. Her ability, I think, to create for other people, um, she finds you at the right moment as well so that you're able to um, score. It's sort of in rhythm. It's in motion for, you know, if it's Tosh in a pick and roll, if it's the shooter. Um, she's just really good, I think, at reading the game. And she, it feels like she's always kind of a step ahead, and she knows, you know, if I go here, this will be open. If I go here, this will be open. Do you practice, you know, passing drills? Um, and if you do, what do you focus on? 
Not anymore, really, but um, I used to a lot when I was younger, and I still do. I think more in the off season um, to just continue to get passes where I want them to go, make sure you know I get it um, in the shooting pocket, depending on where the players want the ball, where they like to shoot it, whether it's on the end seams or not. Uh, I think it's more just getting familiarized with my teammates and what kind of passes that you know they like. So, what are the things you're looking for when you try to familiarize yourself with your teammates? Is it where in the body they like it is the timing of where the you know when they make their moves uh, where on the court what are the things you're evaluating for yeah them? it's definitely where they like it um and at what point you know it's like do they catch it off of a hop do they catch it off of a one two and what do they like with the speed of the pass do they like it really hard or do they like a softer pass um or do they catch it on the inseams or do they not i think it's all dependent on the shooter and the player so i think it's all something that i kind of just observe and try and figure out as i you know, figure out my teammates. Gotcha. And now, let's say on the offseason when you do work on passing, do you work on bounce pass versus straight pass versus lob, one hand, two hand, left hand, right hand? Yeah, everything. Um, it's not like I just sit there and pass. It's more incorporated in the drills that I'm doing, whether it's coming off of pick and roll and making reads. Um, but it's definitely kind of all incorporated in my workouts, whether it's bounce pass, chest pass, um, over the head pass, whatever it is. She's got strength. She can pass with both hands. She's seen some amazing passes, and not all people, um, yeah, not all players have that ability there. But it's something that she's worked on. But I think where she's really grown, and where I think we've seen her mature the most, is handling, you know, a double or a triple team. You know, when she's getting more bodies thrown at her, she's showing that poise and ability to, I think, make the. Sometimes it's the home run pass, but sometimes it's just the easy option as well that gets us, you know, moving into the next action. Um, she knows that she's gonna get a lot of pressure, so to be able to prep, pass, make good decisions, even in kind of scramble situations, is super important for us as a team. Can you give us an idea of when you'd use a bounce pass versus a straight pass? Uh, I mean, if the defense hands are up, it's probably gonna be a bounce pass. If the defense hands are low, it's gonna be an overhead pass. Yeah. Should you always lob into the post? No. I mean, it depends where the defense hands are, so okay. it's not an automatic lob. Gotcha. Um, and in terms of um, your teammates' defenders, do you study your teammates' defenders to see what tendencies they might have to determine where you want to get the ball and the timing of the ball to your teammates? I study the whole defense um, as a whole. I mean, mine, uh, my teammates, every, any five players that are out there, it's, it's what I'm kind of studying. And it's not necessarily on how to get the pass in, it's more how are they defending the actions and what's going to be open, whether it's the roll or the kickback or the shot. Look, I think, I think it comes back to her IQ. Um, and she's seen every kind of defense, to be quite honest. And I suppose you have to get into you know, understanding where the gaps are, where you think you can get people open. And, and that's a credit to her. She's a real student of the game and, and just allows her to see things before it happens. Shoot the face-up jump shot. And that's good. And uh, Lloyd missed. Johannes on the leak out. Johannes pull up three on the evening. Nobody picked up Howard. And directing traffic, lost the handle, got it back. Heidemann being a pest, but Yanescu wins the battle. Point in her career. Playing some of her best basketball. Former defensive player of the year making a play. Opportunity for the Liberty. Yanescu, oh, no look team. Keep taking the shots, they will fall. Nice one-two game. Player knew the system from last year and has provided some good minutes. Who tries to step in front there? Needs to find an open teammate. Somehow found Allen for three. Off the mark. Dolson on the offensive glass and puts it in. The missed shots that she had on Friday, but a lot of them were easy looks. There's an easy look right there.